from your point of view, what are some uh, helpful tips for those that um, are facing those situations? And like you said, you might be looking laterally, so you're feeling job security is an issue perhaps for your staff. Uh, players feel like, oh, are they going to, you know, perhaps is there job security as well? Are they going to make the, the senior team or are they going to be traded? Um, mm. Is there advice in terms of managing that? You talked about how the key to focusing on on the now and, and you know, finals is, is still the goal uh, at that point in time when there was change. Uh, is that where he's tried to shift, I guess, staff and players to, to focusing on what's in front of them in terms of the season? Yeah, uh, and so how I suppose... That? Yeah, the big the big thing for the for our interim coach um, Jimmy was just to focus on the now, uh, not not worrying about what's happening two three four weeks time. So really lowering the eyes um, and focusing what on what you can control right now, and that probably uh, filters through to you know myself and my staff um, that you know we we've got a job at at hand. That's you know, as you would know, working week to week in professional sport, uh, you can easily start looking about what's what's going to happen in the in the next in the next season or over the next couple of months. But um, you know, it starts from the top. So that that was a message from the coach, and and he was sort of living by that, and and still is. So. Um, we all jumped on board with that. Like, what have been some of your favourite uh, either practices that you do to do that, or, or courses or uh, resources uh, that you've found helpful? Yeah, really good question. Um, I think it's just a, you know, for for myself in my role is you know being able to you know communicate and engage with a variety of people, whether it's you know the doctors or physios or um, massage therapists or intern s and c coaches or so having a a wide range of people that you constantly engage with is is really important and obviously the athletes uh, the number one priority in our industry but um, I think it's really important to understand yourself uh, and that's something that I've I've learnt uh, a lot. What are some ways that you like to sort of manage these uh, emotions and still keep your composure and being able to lead for for the players? Um, like you said, they're the num- number one. They're the focus. Um, so whether it be on game day or or main training session, um, and something hasn't quite gone to plan, and uh, you're in the moment. Um, yeah, what are some of your areas of focus to be able to then still compose yourself and and I guess perform your role and make an impact for the players. Yep, well, I think we're. Well, I'm big on a, having a system-based approach in our uh, department. So having, um, you know, like a lead and support uh, kind of setup. So you know, if if you're under the pump or you know the strength coach has, you know, a lot of things on his hand, then you can lean on you know your staff or your um, peers to to help you. So really having that um, support network is really important. Um, probably another big thing that I, I've learned is is that you know it, when things do go wrong because they do in high performance sport that you just have to trust your ability to overcome um problems when they when they occur rather than worrying about oh what if this happens or what if we are flat today would be um, some other things that since being in the lead role that would perhaps surprise people in that can bring add pressure i guess to the role um specifically when you're sort of uh, leading a department in head of performance um yeah the big one like you can't keep everyone happy all the time um and i suppose that's not my role to be uh keep everyone happy i suppose you got to be respected before you're liked so being able to hang your hat on um you know your, your key pillars uh so being transparent and authentic and having a resilient mindset are probably the three um things that i'm trying to drive in within my program um you know to to the athletes and obviously to my staff 
Um, so being able to do that. From the athlete's perspective, um, there's a feeling that pressure can reveal character as well and there can be some great learning um, from that perspective. Like how do you sort of help educate the players that, you know, potentially challenging times can come, uh, the best growth and best learning, uh, that perhaps with a growth mindset they'll be better for it in the, in the future. How do you sort of uh, help them get into that mindset if they're finding that challenging at the time? Yeah, it's... It's hard. I think um, it's really important to to challenge everyone, all your athletes and and staff. But it's just as, if not more, important to show that you support them. So you know, if you're going through a hard time or uh, out of form, or you're injured, or um, can't get your your spot back in the in the team, it's it's really important to be able to challenge your athlete. You know, this is these are the three reasons why you're out of the squad or these are the three um, benchmarks that you need to tick off in your rehab to get back to, to full training or these are the, you know, three areas that you need to improve your game 